Welcome to the Credential Free Device Recognition video. Today I'll be talking about Asset Radar and what I previously mentioned, the passive scanning. So as you might have heard, passive scanning is where we listen to the network and intercept data there. Doesn't matter how short the data transfer is from devices that are added to your network, as long as it passes by uh, the scanning server that we use to detect devices, we'll be able to pick up some information and at least know that that device was detected or add it to your network and try and scan it more to get additional information. Now, credential-free device recognition contains a few components um, that you'll also start exploring and start seeing in Landsweep itself, starting with Asset Radar. Now, Asset Radar is the kind of component that we use to listen to the network. Um, so you, with Asset Radar, you select a network interface that you'll be using to listen to the network, and that one actually intercepts the data and logs it, and then it moves on to the next stages. Um, the next stage there is a device recognition. Now, using the data that we capture with Asset Radar, um, this is usually a MAC address, an IP address, some additional information from other protocols as well that are hidden in the network packets that are sent. We create a unique fingerprint, and that fingerprint is what we use to try and enrich the information. So obviously, since it's credential-free device recognition, we don't have, or we assume that we do not have any credentials. And we try and fetch as much information as we can from a particular device without having any credentials. That means that by using this fingerprint, by using this unique data combination of MAC address, IP address, additional data that we get from other um, kind of components as well, we're able to use that information to take a look in our own device catalog and see if we can find a match and discover what type of device that might be. So kind of using the device recognition that we have, we're able to detect and identify devices that otherwise would just be a MAC address and an IP address, and that's it. Now, once we've completed kind of the credential-free device recognition loop, so we've gone through the detection, part where we grab the information from the network packet, we create that fingerprint, we enrich that data using our device catalog, that's when we get a more complete asset or kind of a basic asset really, because at that point we have the information of kind of what manufacturer it might be, um, what kind of version of device it might be, some basic information. After that, we send it off to our deep scan where we really try to scan it with credentials. Obviously, that goes without saying that at that point, if you do not have any credentials in Landsweeper, that scan will obviously fail. But in case that you do have credentials that work on that device, we're able to immediately also perform a deep scan on that device to get all of the information, so all of the hardware information, all of the software information um, that, that you might want. Now, the last part is more about how, when, should you use credential-free device recognition? Um, now, credential-free device recognition is something that will run as soon as you actually install Landsweeper. So it's a great way to do kind of an initial discovery of the network that you've installed Landsweeper on. Because it grabs all the information so quickly and uses it, enriches it, um, and sends it off to the deep scan, it's something that you can really use to immediately and instantly discover the network that you've installed Landsweeper on. Now, aside from that, Obviously, since it is so quick in actually discovering things, it can also be used for rogue device detection. So as soon as a device logs onto your network, whether it's kind of um, a new desktop that you add, a new laptop that you add, or if it's a mobile device that logs or connects to your Wi-Fi, it's something that Acid Radar and Credential Free Device Recognition will be able to pick up and will be able to actually try and scan and have a log of. So since you're able to actually log all this information as well, you always have kind of a history of at least, you know, the last, let's say, 30 days of what has been trying to connect to your network or has been connected to your network. So with that, I think uh, I've covered everything there is or that we need at least for the basics of credential-free device recognition. And you can head over to the next video to learn more.